we semi trucking. <laughs> we are semi trucking. Okay, we out here in these streets. You're either a man doing this shit, which makes sense for his career, but this is some straight up fucking lesbian shit, no lie. <laughs> we out here trucking, okay? We out here trucking. me and my cousin Frank back home in Chicago. That was actually filmed when I was injured. I had a knee injury that made me leave San Diego and then after four months out of work I finally recovered and came back to LA. Before I show you more clips of what I've done in LA which is a lot, I'm telling you a lot, I had to do like a little going away thing so I hung out with my best friend's sisters one last time before I left. <laughs> Fun times, fun times. Now let's fast forward to LA. Living in South Central, if you guys haven't seen the video yet, go ahead and click onto that. It shows you a lot more things that I that went on in South Central, but let's go ahead and talk about the things I've done, like the activities, the places I visited. I did so much, so we're gonna go through them quickly, so stay tuned. Every weekend I did something, but I got so exhausted because there was still so much more to do. Now you will be seeing someone in these next few videos. That woman's name is Tanika. She is someone that I'm currently dating. Um, I actually met her through a dating app while I was back home in Chicago. We were talking for a couple months. Then when I came to LA where she lives, we met up and we explored the city together. She was my little tour guide, so she showed me all the good spots. So say hi to Tanika, y'all. You wanna get in the sand? You wanna get in the sand? Get in there. What is that? How does that feel? You like it? <laughs> there he goes, prancing on the sand on Venice Beach. You cannot go to LA and not visit Venice Beach. I love Venice Beach because there's a bunch of weirdos there. Yes, I like weird people because I'm weird myself. Gizmo loves Tanika, like in love, as if she's his owner, okay? I think he forgot about me for a second there, but I think I got his love back, I don't know. Oh, he's sleeping. Well, pretty much. He's sleeping. fucking dead asleep, he's so dead asleep. <laughs> well, since you're busy. I am busy, my hands are busy. Oh, did you want water first? Cheers. Hold on, I loves the sea world she's got tattoos of jellyfish so on so forth so we head on over to the aquarium to check out the sea life i don't spend a lot of money but when i do i spend most of it on food and i have no regrets none whatsoever how could you? It's a necessity. Why not enjoy it while you're eating? So, we head over to Avenue 26. The dog, I give the dog a 9 out of 10. I give that a 10 out of 10.
I'm gonna give this one a three. We came back to the same spot for a second day because there's more vendors, right? Different vendors? And we were hungry. And I'm gonna see how this tastes like. First round, tamales, let's see. I give it a 7 out of 10. No, they're fucking delicious, but I need the green sauce. It's kind of more like taquito, I guess. This is not spicy enough to be higher than an 8. I give this one an 8 because when I go to my tia's house and my mama's house, it's gonna be good, regardless. Like this one is. But it doesn't stand out from the crowd. That's why I give it an eight. I'm sorry to say, but I'm giving this one a six. Um, I'm in the car now, obviously. Because I'm about to head out to home. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm tired. Okay? And it, and it got cold. Like, California ain't as warm as it used to be. Okay? Things have changed. It's been raining almost every motherfucking day. But it's still good. Nonetheless, I had a good time at Avenue 26. Um, I would have loved to come back two more times to finish eating everything that was there. But, listen, I can't. I gotta explore other places, so food was good i recommend everyone to try it out because everyone here are hard workers they try so hard to feed your tummy and make your tummy so happy and they accomplish almost every time so check it out evan 26 <laughs> We are at LACMA, one of the most popular museums in LA, and let me tell you so far, the areas that I've been to, it's eye trippy, it really fucks with your vision, and I have vertigo, guys, so this is really fucking me, like, this is not pleasurable for me. <laughs> I'm scared to get nauseous, but like, for example, like, something like this, for example, it's gonna get me to get dizzy, and also, you read that over and over. I am not lying when I say we did a lot. We even went painting. You know those rage rooms where you like smash things? We could have done that, but instead we went ahead and did the painting room. So we just threw paint everywhere and that was fun. <laughs> Canvas, okay? <laughs> and of course, we hit up Universal Studios and Disneyland. The thing I like about Tanika is she does things on a budget, okay, and I'm learning from her. I do things more so for the convenience. I would spend that extra buck just to make my life a little easier, but then when you have someone like her by your side, man, she'd be saving you some money, okay? So she took me to movies at a cemetery. That's exactly what it means. We went to a cemetery to watch a movie on a big white screen. This is the daylight before it, before it got dark. Oh my God, it was so beautiful.
Now the thing I love about California and, and that I've noticed that is different from other states is the appreciation and love they have for their dogs. You can take your dog anywhere. Yeah, they're the same laws. Pretty much only service dogs allowed in public places, but they're not really that strict. So they just let you bring your dog everywhere. And I took my dog Gizmo with us to a drag brunch where we ate some delicious food, drank some good cocktails, and there's no need to show you guys the drags. You just gotta go yourself. Speaking about food, I'm allergic to shellfish. I've known this since I was a kid. So I've never tried anything but salmon and tilapia. That's pretty much it. But I was getting tired of the same old food, so I really wanted to try shellfish. So I went ahead and went to an allergist, got tested, got retested. And as an adult, yes, I am still allergic to shellfish, but it's very minimal. So the doctor said I can go ahead and eat the shellfish, just bring an allergy pill just in case I flare up, but most likely I won't because it's so minimal. So tried some crab legs because I see people line up for crab legs all the motherfucking time. I want to know why. I tried it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like that? Uh-huh. See there's grooves? Yeah, there you go. Oh. I found myself. This is it. Fuck them allergies. Yeah. Uh-huh. I did it. Oh, and that was perfect. You did it like a hole in one piece. So I put in, let me try one without butter. Okay. Okay. And with butter. With butter is better. <laughs> Not, it's not worth the itchy throat. I like the salmon's better. No, I think I tried it. That's good, babe. Let's see um, if I get an allergic reaction to God, we'll be recording later. Yeah. Yeah, this is a grilled oyster with... Is it Cajun? Cajun, I don't know. I'm gonna try a little bit of it. And what's next? Lobster. I'm gonna try that. It's good. You like it? Mm -hmm. Lobster. What's the review? I'm trying lobster for the first time. It tastes like gum. It's like the cheese. It's chewy like gum. It's chewy. I wonder if it's always if that's always the texture. Not everything was planned. Sometimes we'll be going somewhere and we just passed things up that Tanika wanted to show me or that I found to be interesting and curious about. So we would just stop and that was at the alley. It's kind of like a flea market on different streets in the same area. Although me and Tanika are not in a relationship officially, we have been dating for a while and you know I wanted to do something special for her on her birthday so, so I went ahead and made a picnic out in the park for her where we had a lot of goodies to eat, some wine, but non-alcoholics. Now in the other clips where you saw us drinking, she was drinking, drinking at the time but in these following clips she's sober so I of course I'm going to bring some non-alcoholic beverages and it was tasty and I also had us paint because she loves to paint. She's a little artist so we had a good time. Yay! <laughs> I didn't shoot it. Fancy. Non-alcoholic. Thank you very much. Yes. My babe is very thoughtful and very respectful. <laughs> Squirrel, I need you to go away. He wants he wants our snacks, but I'm telling him he can't. No, it's not for you. <laughs> he is not scared. It's for my babe. He's not even scared. Hi. <laughs> Having a picnic at the park. And this squirrel, where did this squirrel go? 
He's oh, right hell here. no, where? He's right here, babe. Oh, okay. Los Angeles is the new Hollywood, but we did have to go to Hollywood to explore there too. I mean, come on. It's the OG of all the OG cities. to see the Hollywood sign and from what I was told the Griffith Observatory is the best place to see it so we went ahead and checked that place out I found another spot that has a better view of the Hollywood sign and that is Runyon Canyon me and Gizmo went for a little hike and that's where we got a nice little view of the Hollywood sign I didn't film as much as I would like because I just wasn't in the mood I just filmed clips here and there just to tell my story and for me to have on video for my memory purposes. So I apologize, but if y'all wanna go visit Hollywood, y'all go visit yourselves. Okay, moving along, Tanika took me to a place to eat where they were playing jazz music. This girl's good. I started my little tattoo journey on my leg. I did a few sessions while I was there, didn't complete it until I was in LA, but LA is a little bit further from Temecula, which is the city that I got my tattoo done. I wanted the same artist to finish what he started, so from LA, it was like a two hour drive. We decided to make it a little vacation weekend. So we rented an RV while we were there. Oh yeah, gonna have me a little vacation. Just a weekend though. You're having a good time. That's the queen. Was it queen? It's a queen bed. Uh, sitting, like kitchen. Type of vibe. There's two beds right here. And the bathroom. This is my tattoo. I'm sorry for the lighting. It was hard to film my own leg. One side of my leg took six hours. The other side took another six my knee which is the most painful tattoo i have ever gotten in my whole entire tattoo life took seven hours and behind my knee took four hours was it worth it hell yeah it was worth it i love tattoos i ain't gonna stop so that's it for today's video i try to show you as much as i can in this one video and you probably think that's it for la no i have a couple more videos to go i have so much more to show you so stay tuned keep your notifications on like comment share do all that see y'all in the next video peace